Hello YouTube, this is Matt Wicks of the Bluebell Model Railway channel. Today we have a model review for you. Uh, this has been requested by one of the members on our Facebook group. If you're not a member of it, I suggest you join it to keep up to date with all the happenings and goings on and kit builds that uh, I'm currently working on. Um, as you can see today, after a little trip to London over the last weekend, um, I picked this up from the London Transport Museum. Uh, this is the model uh, class 4575 uh, Prairie Tank, uh, specially commissioned by the London Transport Museum and produced by Backman. Um, this livery was put onto this logo, um, 5521 I believe its number is. Um, this livery was put on it for the um, Metropolitan Line anniversary which was I believe last year. Uh, hence the number L150, so it's a slightly gimmicky number, um, just for the uh, event really. Uh, this logo can be found on the Bluebell line and various other preserved lines as well. And at the moment I believe it's in London uh, for the Hammersmith um, anniversary or centenary, which is happening this weekend on the 2nd of August, 9th, and also the Chesham uh, branch as well. Uh, where the coaches will be brought down to uh, that will be on the 16th I believe of August um, as most of you know um, I have been producing some Metropolitan 3D printed coaches or the Chesham set from the Bluebell Railway they are now complete and I thought this would be a nice um, model to get hold of to be running with the coaches um, so I went and bought one from um, Covent Garden London Transport Museum and here it is so a bit of information on the model and also the real thing uh, this is the class 4575 um, it's slightly different to the 4500 class uh, it's got a slightly larger water capacity on it which has increased the weight um, about 100 were built at Swindon Works and also there are about 11 left preserved I believe. Uh, this model is from the London Transport Museum and commissioned by them and produced by Backman. Um, price of this model it's not cheap it's £97.99p. Um, decided to get hold of this model for my Metropolitan coaches so it can be pulled round. I have changed a few uh, little bits and details as you can see there are lamps on this now and a crew in the cab but we'll talk you around the model and um, how to improve it and also do other uh, little bits and pieces on it uh, it's not a new new model it's just a different livery um, as the chassis has only slightly been improved for, uh, for DCC uh, it takes an 8 pin digital chip these models come DCC ready. Um, I'll take a slightly closer look now at various bits of the model and inaccuracies on the model and um, just generally give you an overview of how the model runs. So let's have a closer look at this model now. So we'll start at the front end here. You can see we've got uh, pipes and sprung buffers and a hook on the buffer beam. I must add there are no there is no detail impact for this uh, model at all. I believe all the bits are already attached, uh, which is quite surprising because there's a hole uh, down on the uh, left side here or the right side as you're looking at it on the uh, the screen. I guess for a steam pipe, but there is no steam pipe with it, so I assume all the bits are attached already. I have added some lamps to the front of the loco as you can see here. It has a moulded on smoke box dart which you can probably change with a bit of care and attention. Uh, you can see as well there is no um, air pump or brake uh, cylinder on the right hand side or a Westinghouse brake pump. Uh, you can buy them from Alan Gibson uh, for I think it's about £4, £5. And you can probably modify the side of that to put uh, one on, which I'll be probably doing in the not too distant future. 
um, livery wise on the loco it's pretty accurate apart from one area which is on the cylinder uh, the cylinder here you can see two uh, yellow lines on the actual loco itself there are no yellow lines so uh, you can remove them with either a little bit of thinner or repaint uh, over them with uh, some LT under transport red or maroon I was quite surprised by a few areas on this model I think you can just about see it in the light here um, some areas of the model don't seem to have been painted that well or the paint has been very thinly applied and you can see on the uh, the firebox here, top of the firebox down the side you can just about see the black uh, plastic underneath and also behind the filler caps here if I zoom in a little bit uh, you can probably see a little bit clearer you can see it's got a dark black haze to it so they haven't really applied much paint to these areas in fact if you look behind the uh, boiler bands you can probably see it's still the black paint on them if we move down to the filler cap there also behind uh, the filler cap you can see there's still black plastic um, which has been unpainted so very thinly applied also you can see on the uh, the water feed and the safety valves uh, cover there you can see just behind it there's still a black haze as well so not much paint has been applied to this model I have to say there's some nice details on it plenty of rivet detail on the tanks delivery is nicely applied uh, the sliding cab window guard there doesn't move it's all molded in so if you think it looks a little bit weird why the lining just stops there and continues there that is why because it goes behind it uh, the cab is actually unpainted in there apart from the the reverser handle and the brake handle on the other side uh, the back head is completely and utterly black plastic not painted or detailed in any way at all I have been in there and um, painted a few bits which you might be able to see on there um, also added a crew which I've put in there as well Just zoom out slightly to show you the rest of the model motion is quite nice as well on the, uh, the wheels, the wheels are all metal and I've got plenty of um, molded plastic pipe detail behind the uh, step there on both sides Got a rather unrealistic uh, coal load as is common with most models these days. Sprung buffers again on the rear. Another pipe, a vacuum pipe on the back. Another L150 uh, um, print on the back there as well. Two lamps as well. Got various lamp holders on the back here. Three on the bottom, one on the top. You can see around the other side, you can see the other um, brake handle which has been painted. And generally, it's a nice model, slightly more expensive than uh, what you could get. You could probably get one repainted, but the thing is, if you take into account the, the price of the repainting, which would probably be about 100 200 pounds possibly more, you're better off buying one of these um, or doing it yourself which is cheaper also which I was considering doing but uh, with all the stuff I've got to build for other people and myself I thought I'd take a shortcut on this and just add the extra detail pieces um, myself so uh, yes generally it's a nice little model a few detailing bits that need to be brought up to today's standards like the smoke box uh, door dart uh, the painting is quite disappointing on a few areas where you can see the black plastic underneath um, but all I can do is review this model which I have here not everybody else's so I don't know if this is uh, common or it's just this one particular model which seems to have uh, not had uh, paint applied too well to some areas um, as mentioned it is DCC ready it takes an 8 pin chip 
um, and you can get into the loco quite easily if I show you now on the camera at either end you can see there's a screw just there just underneath the pony truck and the coupling there's a screw there there's also a screw at the front which you can just about see there take those out and the body lifts off it's slightly a tight fit but you can get it off uh, then there's another screw underneath the cab um, if you unscrew that you can get into the cab a lot easier to repaint um, repaint the uh, back head and put your crew in as well also I'd mention the body actually comes off from the running plate there are clips um, in the corner as well if we keep having a look underneath there's a clip in the corner there and one in the corner there you can take this off by as I mentioned two screws one underneath the cab and one underneath the smoke box and the body just lifts off easily and then clips um, if you want to do any other putting people in the cab and also it's quite easy to put the chip in the chip is located around the front here just in front of a tank anyway enough of my waffle we'll go back and see it run on the rolling road just a small note before I start running this model has been run in so an hour each way uh, forward and reverse and I have to say it runs very nicely so let's take a look just worth a note I am using just a standard small Hornby controller as you can see it runs very nicely at slow speed very quiet, very smooth. The loco is quite a heavy loco for its size. It pulls quite well. It runs quite well over in saw frog point work, which is what I use on my layout code 100. I'll just speed it up a touch. See a little vacuum uh, pump there, uh, <laughs> loosely uh, wobbling around. It occasionally causes a slight clicking sound. It's just a moulding uh, molding on the front and the uh, the uh, etched or etched brass uh, shaft just uh, moves in and out behind it. it. Doesn't actually go into anything. That's why it's probably wobbling around a bit. As you can see, it runs quite nicely. We'll slow it down and put it in forward. You'll probably hear the clicking a little more now going forward than in reverse. So that brings us to the end of the running and uh, general description of the model. Um, what we'll do now is just summarise 
basically how and what I think of it. I think it's an okay model. Um, £97.99 is a lot of money to pay, but I'm assured that the money goes to the museum, the extra cost, so I don't mind supporting a museum uh, through paying a little bit extra for a model. Uh, generally these models in not this livery but the standard livery go for about £45-£50 or about £55 possibly tops. Um, as you can see this one runs very nicely. I've only had to make one small adjustment uh, to the front pony truck as it kept uh, derailing on my bumpy old track which needs replacing. Uh, that's just to tweak the spring to give it a little bit more push on the uh, on the track. Um, generally paint work and livery application I'll give it about a 7 because there are some light areas that I could have done with a bit more paint uh, to be, just to be fair I believe. Um, all the lining and um, lettering all nicely applied. Um, shame about small details which uh, are wrong, which is the lining on the cylinder. I uh, would have liked a little bit more cab detail, but again, it is an old model, so we can't really uh, do too much about that apart from paint it ourselves, which I have done. Um, general running qualities, I'll give it about an 8 to a 9, I believe, because it runs quite nicely on my layout which you will see in a little while. Generally it's not a bad model overall I'll probably give it about 7.5 maybe 8. Um, it's a generally nice model looks nice on the uh, teak coaches and we'll go and have a look now at how the model runs on a layout not on a rolling road and see how well it pulls. Um, generally it actually shows itself very well, the, the actual chassis runs very well over the install frog points pulls the coaches with no problem and uh, is, is quite happy on my layout so we'll go and have a look at that now hope you enjoyed the video and uh, any questions or comments please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can uh, I have done this review in an honest way as I see it on this model, I can't comment on everybody else's but this is what I found or found with this model and uh, these are my honest opinion on this model as as uh, everyone else didn't really like some of the things I said about the Duke of Gloucester review but hey that's what I felt at the time and it's nice to see Hornby have gone back on some of the uh, clever design principles and gone back to some um, better uh, models but we'll see when they come out. Anyway, let's take it to the layout.